Hi, Kevin. Mrs. C.W. here. Or the teacher formerly known as Miss Collins, as you would have called me, oh, about seven years ago. Now, I know the assignment was to describe you in one word, but I wanted to properly explain my word and give you the accolades that you so deserve. So, here is my one word, the extended cut version. <laughs> and I wrote it down because I figured I might get a little verklempt while talking. Well, congratulations on graduating. Oh, this means you are all grown up and I am old. <laughs> you were always a student that stuck with the dream team. Teachers say they don't have favorites, but they do. Some students you just really make a connection with and they are completely memorable and define a school year. Just like how students associate grades with what teachers they had, your year became the year that we had Kevin and company. <laughs> if there is one word I would use to describe you as a student, it would be genuine. You genuinely cared about everyone in the classroom and you genuinely wanted to learn new things. You even listened in a very genuine way. I once had a teacher tell me they could gauge how a class was understanding a concept by looking at my face. If I looked confused, that probably meant the rest of the room was also confused. <laughs> I remember looking across the room when I was teaching and you became that student for me. You have what I call a Disney listening face and you were genuinely giving discussions and projects your all. You genuinely had an impact on those around you. Another thing that teachers say is that if the boy leader of the class has that magical combination of sports, smarts, and arts, that they can really set the tone and the bar higher for the class overall. You had all of those abilities then and I am sure that is still the case today. You genuinely paid attention to details. You would make connections to things across classes and concepts, and you remembered the little things. You had a genuine sense of humor that always had us laughing. At times, <laughs> almost felt like you were in on the jokes that Mr. Taylor and I had. In fact, I think the two of you need to become best friends. I mean, what other student could we laugh about the character Ron Burgundy with? Memes in general, what your family Christmas card was going to be, or the infamous commercial for Woodbridge Golden Pond, baby. <laughs> you and your family, speaking of, are just also genuinely amazing people. I will never forget when our dog went missing and you weren't even in my class anymore, but you joined the search party, pulling up next to you at a stoplight like no time had passed and it was like, hey, Kevin, you go this way, I'll go that way. <laughs> and you gave me like a very serious mm, thumbs up like you were on it. <laughs> you were still on my team and that meant the world to me. And thank goodness we found Mr. Talley later that evening who went on to live quite a long time. 
Tucker also sends his thanks for that, <laughs> along with congrats. He's at home and I'm here at school, wishing I had a view more like this one. <laughs> hey, at least I still have the hand chair. <laughs> I am sure that every teacher who had you along the way agrees. You are genuinely present in the moment and aware of everyone around you. You inspire others to be the best version of themselves. Whatever you choose to do in life, you will excel and succeed. Your positivity will be infectious. Everyone will want you on their team. When I was looking for a famous inspirational quote that used the term genuine, I came across this one from the Dalai Lama. The true essence of humankind is kindness. There are other qualities which come from education or knowledge, but it is essential if one wishes to be a genuine human being and impart satisfying meaning to one's existence to have a good heart. You, sir, are kind, genuine, and you have the best heart. Teachers say, if I know I am reaching at least one student, then I know that I am making a difference. And you were always that kid for me. So I hope that you remember fifth grade as one of your favorite years because we will always remember you. You made us better teachers. You called us the dream team. And since then, I know we have all tried to live up to the name, even though now we are apart. You are genuinely the dream student. And I wish you all the best as you set off into the world. Go and follow your dreams. The dream team will always be cheering you on genuinely. Congratulations, Kevin. We wish you all the best.